Welcome to episode 5 of the Skincare Teacher Beauty Tip Show. It has been an amazing start to autumn here in Australia. We're in the middle of autumn and this week we've had hot days up to 38 degrees in Sydney Southwest. Beautiful days, sunny during the day and then it cools off at night so we can have a lovely sleep during the night. So it's been a really lovely, lovely time. It doesn't really feel like summer has finished quite yet. However, the wind has picked up. It's been quite windy. The gardens are dry. We do really need more rain. In beauty salons, we are talking to people about their dry skin. Lots of people are coming in complaining that the skin feels tight and dry and dehydrated. And it's really no wonder our weather is so changeable. One day it'll be cool, 25 degrees, the next day it'll be 38, and then we get the wind and the temperature changes during the day. No wonder it's playing havoc with the skin. So it's really, really important that you keep your skin moisturized all the time. And of course, don't forget to wear your sunscreen. It's so important. Speaking of skin, today's episode, I would like to share with you the differences between the beauty practitioners. So you could go and see a beautician, a beauty therapist, or a dermal therapist. And what is the difference when it comes to treating your skin? So I'm hoping that after you listen to this episode, you will understand the difference between the different practitioners. I hope you find this episode interesting, enjoyable, and informative. Welcome to the Skincare Teacher Beauty Tip Show, brought to you by thebeautybusiness.com.au. In this show, you will discover skincare and beauty tips that absolutely work. I'm Jana Elston, a qualified beauty therapist, skincare educator and blogger, and in this show, I will share my expert insights into the best beauty treatments that will absolutely transform your skin. So tune in each week to learn how to look after your skin and improve various skin conditions, including acne, aging, or pigmentation. What is the difference between a beautician, a beauty therapist, aesthetician, or a dermal therapist? Beauticians, beauty therapists, aesthetician, dermal therapists, hairdressers, massage practitioners, laser technicians, nail technicians. These are all different vocations within the beauty industry. But in today's podcast, I would really like to just focus on aestheticians, beauty therapists, and dermal therapists who perform skin treatments, who specialize in skin and body treatments. And these terms are different in various countries, whether you live in Australia, Europe, Asia, or the US. So I will try and explain the terms as they are used here in Australia. So let's firstly look at a beautician. What is a beautician and what does she do? Beauticians can be trained on the job with no formal qualifications or training. Or some of them, actually most of them here in Australia, go to a college, the TAFE, and achieve a Certificate 3 in beauty treatments. So beauticians mostly perform beauty services such as spray tanning, waxing, tinting, nails, makeup, and lash extensions. They may be allowed in some salons to do basic facials and body treatments, but always under the supervision of a suitably qualified beauty therapist. The next level of training and beauty expertise are beauty therapists. Overseas, they can be also called aestheticians. The word aesthetician can be written in two different ways, and I think it's just a spelling difference in the UK and the US but essentially they mean the same thing. So beauty therapists here in Australia are roughly equivalent to aestheticians overseas in the United States and the, and the United Kingdom. In Australia, we mostly use the general term for beauty therapists for anybody who is certificate for or diploma qualified. However, there are differences in what treatments they are able to perform depending on their level of qualification and the college they trained in. In addition to beauty services performed by beauticians, certificate for qualified beauty therapists are trained in performing various facials and massage, study anatomy, physiology, and basic cosmetic chemistry. Beauty therapists usually work in beauty salons and spas. 
Beauty therapists who have studied and achieved a diploma in beauty therapy are trained to perform advanced skin treatments. That also includes cosmetic equipment such as high frequency, galvanic, microcurrent, sonophoresis, LED phototherapy, oxygen infusion, radio frequency and ultrasound cavitation. They have had further training in skin anatomy and physiology and skin diseases and disorders and cosmetic chemistry. Some colleges also offer microdermabrasion as part of the diploma training, but mostly it is a postgraduate course. Beauty therapists have committed themselves to extensive postgraduate training and may carry out the same treatments as dermal therapists here in Australia. So who are dermal therapists? This is currently the highest level of qualifications one can achieve in the beauty industry as a beauty therapist. Dermal therapists have engaged in further studies at a university level and achieved an advanced diploma or a graduate diploma or a degree qualification in courses such as the Bachelor of Health Science in dermal therapies. So dermal therapists have extensive training in skin anatomy, physiology, skin conditions, cosmetic chemistry, and are trained to analyze and treat skin through a variety of advanced techniques. They typically work in medical settings such as medispas, skin rejuvenation clinics, and cosmetic clinics. They usually work alongside doctors who specialize in cosmetic, surgical, and non-surgical treatments. Dermal therapists usually look after patients for pre- and post-operative care, and they have advanced laser training also in IPL, skin peels, photo rejuvenation, cosmetic tattooing, and microneedling. And dermal therapists can continue on to further studies and training in nursing with registered nursing qualifications They are able to perform injectables under the supervision of a doctor. So it is really important to understand the different qualifications and the scope of practice of beauty practitioners and the kind of treatments they can perform. However, there are no formal guidelines or licenses here in Australia. The industry is mostly self-regulated and as a consumer, it is up to you to check the qualifications of your beauty practitioner to determine if they are suitably qualified to perform a particular treatment. This is especially important with advanced treatments such as laser and IPL. So never be afraid to ask for the qualifications. They will have their qualifications suitably displayed in the premises. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast and tune in each week for the latest beauty news and trends. If you have any comments or questions, you can connect with me on my Facebook page, The Beauty Business. And for more beauty tips, read my blog, thebeautybusiness.com.au. Until next time, have a beautiful week.